What's up home slash Lucas here. The wall flip is one of those snazzy parkour moves everybody thinks is pretty cool. Unfortunately, the wall flip can be pretty scary for beginners. Not to worry though, in this video, I'm gonna share with you guys 10 wall flip hacks that can help you get over the fear and learn the wall flip fast. So you can be wall flipping your way to wall flipping fun. Pay attention, one or more of these 10 hacks may help you out. But you gotta focus. Number one, the wall makaku. Of course this is gonna be my first one. So what I do is stand about a foot away from the wall. I put the foot I'm gonna use to jump off the wall onto the wall and the hand on the same side directly behind me. Then I kick my way through, supporting myself with my hand as I flip over. This helps you get used to doing the flip without having to take your hands off the ground. It makes it way less scary. It's almost like doing a cartwheel away from the wall with one hand. From there, I increase my speed until I get my confidence up, and then what, 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 all flip. All right, another wall flip progression hack. What I'm doing is I'm taking a simple 360, and I'm slowly turning it into a wall flip by leaning more and more over my shoulder and kicking more and more over my shoulder until it goes almost upside down, and then upside down, and it's boom, a wall flip. Yo, honestly, I see an opportunity here, an opportunity to make a full slow motion tutorial turning a 360 into a wall flip. Every little inch explained. All right, moving on. All right, now here's a fun one. Trampoline up against the wall. Not only am I less scared of landing on the trampoline than I am the ground, but it gives me a little extra bounce so I get a little extra height for my first wall flips. Honestly, this is how I first learned the wall flip. I did this. Just gave me a little extra confidence. Now you can either bounce up with both legs and then go into the wall flip, or you can do the run up. Oh, it's a little bonus. Something cool, something snazzy. Jumping up, doing the two leg whip off the wall, even though I'm not doing much of a whip because my form is poo. Okay, moving on. All right, this next one I like to call the arc angle because it sounds cool. What I'm doing here is I'm approaching the wall at an angle and basically kind of doing a 360 off the wall kind of like earlier. It's very similar, very related, but not quite the same. So what I'm doing over time is I'm slowly decreasing the angle and becoming more and more perpendicular with the wall. Naturally, as I'm going more and more straight towards the wall, my flip is naturally turning more and more upside down. And I'm not even noticing what's happening. Okay, I kind of am noticing, but it's less scary than just going for it right away. Eventually, I'm straight on with the wall and boom, wall flip. Okay, what if the problem isn't you? The problem is the wall. Honestly, it's scary trying to do a flip off the wall because, uh, you know, if you mess up, you're going to still be going into the wall and you're going to end up cracking in front of the wall. So, so hence we have this hack the corner crook. So what I did is I found the corner of a building, the corner of a wall, so that my kicking foot is not gonna hit the wall because there's nothing there. Now I've gotta be sure I actually get my foot on the wall and don't slip to the side because yeah, that would be a problem too. Every hack's a compromise. Coming up next, the wedge of wonder. If you're lucky enough to find a slanted wall like I was, and you're in luck. For some reason I noticed this just took like 80% of the fear away from doing this trick. Because of the slant, it's less intimidating than a straight wall, and I was able to whip out like four wall flips before security came. And it still looked cool. What if you're just not about big corporations and city life? Well, that's okay, because there's trees, and they work just as good as walls. Something about jumping off a tree and doing a wall flip can be less intimidating than doing a wall flip off of a building. The only thing is you want to make sure the tree is grippy, and you're not going to slip, because it's all a different surface and not as even as a wall. And some trees can be slightly slanted, which also is less intimidating than a wall. Also, you can kind of corner crook a tree too, depending on how wide it is. What if certainty I'm not going to slip is what I'm looking for? Then, the lucky ledge is what I'm looking for. 
This technique almost gives me the same footing placement as the wall flip. Yes, my wall flipping foot is going to be facing down instead of facing on the wall, but it literally feels about the same as a wall flip. Because I can already do a backflip, this is a perfect progression that can help me progress from a backflip to putting my foot up on a surface and then going for a wall flip because it feels very similar. Well, we use the trampoline to jump up onto the wall, but why not using a trampoline as the wall? A lot of trampoline parks have this built in, but for me, I just took my mini skybound Nimbus and I put it on the side of the house on an angle, made sure it was sturdy. Now you gotta be careful, it gives you a little extra bounce at first, so you kinda gotta, you know, prep yourself for it. But it really helped me send the wall flip back on an angle. It's also slightly a corner crook. And it's, you know, it's cool. Alright, last and least, the hill hack. Yes! Just going through a steep hill. Basically sending a gainer up the hill. Kind of feels similar to a wall flip. And honestly, the steeper the hill, the closer it's going to feel. I don't need to be worried about slamming into the wall if I mess up. I just need to be worried about rolling back down the hill and cracking my neck. It's a different worry. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was informative. Remember, practice everything at your own risk and take the proper precautions and necessary safety measurements. These were only ideas and are for educational purposes only. So don't be stupid. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for subscribing. If you're not subscribed, don't forget to subscribe. More videos coming out. I hope you guys all have a great day. Peace. Y'all have a good one. I'll see you in the next video.